Kid Daniels here with InfoWars.com in Cleveland, Ohio, outside the, well, actually, I'm inside the movie premiere for Dinesh D'Souza's uh, Hillary's America. Now, this is Jerome Corsi of World, World Net Daily. How are you doing today? Great to be here. I'm really looking forward to seeing the movie. What are you working on recently? Well, I've got my book coming out, which is on the Partners in Crime, it's called. It's about the Clinton Foundation. It'll be out in August. I think it's begun to be shipped by Amazon. And, of course, I've been writing about Dinesh D'Souza for years. I think this is going to be his best movie by far. I think it's going to be a devastating telling of the truth about Hillary Clinton. And what do you think about what happened in Turkey recently with the coup and all that? I know you, you and uh, some other World Net Daily guys have been writing about Turkey and ISIS and whatnot the past couple of years. Well, I think the, this is a, another major foreign policy failure of the Obama administration. I, I don't think it was a coup. I think this is an attempt by the government to really clean out all the secular military who did not want an Islamic State. I think what you're going to see from here on is the movement of Turkey closer to ISIS, and I think it's a devastating loss for NATO and for the Middle East and for world peace. I mean, terrorism is now just going to be expanding, and the Obama administration was caught completely unawares, no plan, and it's more chaos in the Middle East that can be attributed both to Hillary and to Obama. Yeah, and remember the, uh, how the, I'm trying to think what I was going to say here. <laughs> but yeah, with ICE, yeah, oh, I remember now, with the Brexit. Remember how Turkey was talking, how the EU was talking about entering Turkey into the EU after uh, Brexit? Well, I think, yeah, I think Turkey is going to still probably push to get into the EU. I doubt if it's going to. I think the EU is going to break up. I think Italy is going to be a problem. There's going to be referendums in other countries. Uh, even if Great Britain tries to delay the exit, uh, the EU is a failed New World Order idea, and it needs to collapse. So what do you, as far as the Nash D'Souza's treatment by the Obama administration, what do you think uh, Hillary opponents, what, what do you think Hillary opponents would suffer under a Hillary administration? I didn't get your question. What do you think uh, under a Hillary administration, what kind of press suppression and whatnot are you anticipating? If uh, Hillary Clinton wins, we're going to have uh, the country will have be flooded with more Muslim immigrants from Syria that are unvetted. The borders will be opened. We're going to see the end of the Second Amendment. First Amendment's already largely gone in college universities. Hillary Clinton is going to push the agenda of Obama into high gear, and the country will not look the same. Those of us who were born in America that was under the Bill of Rights, Pledge of Allegiance, our founding documents won't recognize the United States under Hillary Clinton. That's why Dinesh D'Souza's movie is so important. He's going to tell the future and the story, the true story of the Democratic Party and what this country is going to look like under four more years or eight more years of socialist communist rule. And that's Saul Linsky, Hillary Clinton. So in what ways do you think Hillary would be worse than Obama? In many ways, I think Hillary would be worse than Obama, because Obama at least came in. I wrote The Abomination. I, we knew that Obama had been raised a Muslim. We knew he'd been trained by Frank Marshall Davis. Hillary's hidden her Saul Linsky connections. She wants to appear pragmatic, but she's dogmatic as can be, far left. And she'll have no hesitation but to take Obama's agenda and put it into extreme high gear. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your time. Thank you. A great pleasure to be with you. Thank you very much. I really enjoy InfoWars and want to say hello to Alex Jones and all of his great audience. Thank you. Yeah, he'll be here tomorrow, too. What do you think about the rioters? How, what do you anticipate happening this week with the riots and whatnot, protesters? Yeah, I, I think there's going to be significant protests. The Cleveland police are very good, and the way they've learned to barricade and keep the protesters away I think the protesters are going to have a hard time getting to the convention center. Uh, there'll be protests, and, you know, pray God they're going to be peaceful protests. We don't need any more shootings. I'm really appalled by the shootings of police. And again, I think Obama's got bloody hands in this with his race baiting that he's done ever since Professor Gates in 2009. Thank you.
Once again, this is Kit Daniels with Infowars.com, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, Resistance News.